What's up, what's up? Anthony Heyman, Heyman's window cleaning. What up, though? Dude, your van, your window cleaning van, we're gonna give us, you're gonna give us a full complete tour. You too, I am. Tour. All right. You just got that ladder rack yesterday? I got the ladder rack yesterday, check it out. Talk louder. I got the ladder rack yesterday. Yeah. It looks like you can put like two ladders on it. There's an option to put tie downs on here, but yeah. I just put one in the middle. It seemed to work good enough and it's not going anywhere, so. What's that called? This? Yeah. This is the Little Giant 22 with the leveling feet. And the reason I like this yeah. is because when you're out on a job, you can put the ladder down, put your foot on this. and it, it, Oh, it's it got the self-adjusters yep. right there. I got to get one. Yeah, it's it's nice. Built into the ladder. It's super heavy. Yeah. And so when you're bringing it, if it's like the only ladder you have, it kind of sucks because it's, yeah. it's just too much. But mm -hmm. I'm going to get like an extension ladder, A-frame ladder, and maybe mm -hmm. just ditch this all together. But so I used to put that in here. Uh huh. What's the name of the ladder rack? Cargo Master. Cargo Master. It's it's made by Cargo Master. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what the oh, uh, sweet. the part number is. How much did it cost to get in installed? It was like 150 to have it installed plus the price of it. Yeah. Depending on where you go. Um, cool. So I just got all the water fed stuff back in here because bro, it's I'm like to get water. I'm going up inside here so my yeah. camera don't get on. Okay. Yeah, so it's just oh, dude, he's got the Panera, Panera macaroni and cheese so with good. the with the bread. I dropped my fork, so I gotta put the bread right. in there to use it now. All right, we're gonna go through everything. All right, so this is the water fed. I just put this back in because it's been getting warm enough to do. Here, talk a little louder. Say it again. I got this is the water fed stuff. I got it in here now just because it's finally getting warm enough outside to do it. It's safe to keep it in the car. Yeah. So I have the hoses in here so that when you're done with the job, you know, you can put it in. It's not going to drip all over the van. This is dirty towels in here. Yeah. Uh, accelerator. Accelerator. Accelerator when I feel like using it. <laughs> all the dry towels are right here. Um, you got steel wool. So I kept these, I actually kind of made this. This is kind of a weird little situation. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so the reason I wanted to keep them separate is because you can't have steel wool with soap because it'll start rusting. You can't have yeah. dry towels with soap in case one of these spills. Yeah. So these are all kept separate. One belt on this side, one belt on this side. This is my brother's slash wife's, and then this is mine. Yeah? Uh, yeah, it works out really good. Now I want to individually go through each and every single like tool. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna start with uh, start with the belt. Yeah, uh, but real quick, uh, your window cleaning channel. Yep. I'll put it in the link in the description below because you got your own window cleaning YouTube Absolutely. channel. Window cleaning Anthony, it's called. Window cleaning Anthony. Yep. All right, now go through everything one by okay. one, a little bit so, slower. Everything. Okay. So start on the left side and go around. Uh, water fed. This is a DI tank. Um, you know, you can buy this from Detroit Sponge in different sizes. This is the medium size. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what the cubic inches on it. I threw this on here because occasionally I'll use a customer's hose to plug into a house. Probably shouldn't, but if they've already got one, it's not too much of a harm. Sometimes there'll be leaves in those hoses, so this will basically filter out any bad crap um, that might be in their tap or their hose. Mm. Um, so yeah, and I've actually emptied this, and there's been full. You on built this garbage. yourself with like, yeah, parts from like easy. Home Depot or something? Yeah, yeah. I basically All bought right. this piece right here, yeah. and that's about it. This piece came installed with it from Detroit Sponge, and sort of this. So yeah, I basically just screwed this on in. Wait, what pieces came from Detroit Sponge? This valve came from Detroit Sponge, so it's an on and off valve. Yeah. Um, and you'll, whenever you're turning this, by the way, you so want you to put turn your, it slow. Uh, your hose directly into yeah. it. Yeah. So your hose will, so I have it on a reel right here. Yeah, directly into And that. yeah, so basically it's also attached to this. So in the middle of this, there's a little hose that plugs into here. Uh huh. Okay. Now, are you pulling this whole thing out and pulling up to the customer's yeah, spigot? Yeah. yeah. I, when I first got it, I tried to do like a van mount thing by leaving it in here, but the problem was sometimes it'll leak if it's not, the hose isn't pressed in there perfectly. Or if it moves, it'll it'll just get water everywhere. So yeah. I just started taking it out. It's not too long. I mean, you literally just push it back, and the strap comes off. Oh yeah, that's the weight cool. of it keeps it in there. So okay, then all this stuff easy. you got from like Home Depot or something? Yeah, this is Home Depot. This is Home yeah. Depot. This is Home Depot. The straps. You know? Yeah. And then I put my TDS gauge on here. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. So it's like there's not really an excuse not to check it. Yeah. You know, I always check it, and I, that's why I tell like my brother when he's working for me, it's like just. You have to check it because if you don't, it's bad. Like, you know, the job was just done for free, basically. So, check that. And then, so this is where I keep the hoses for the water fed. This is 50 feet of. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, zero G, whatever, just Lowe's, Home Depot. I prefer the flexible stuff because it yeah. reels up better. If you get the 
contractor grade hose that's Zero really G. Yeah. yeah basically anything that's flexible it might not hold up as well but i'd rather buy more of them because the, the yeah. big rubber ones like unless mm -hmm. you have a big industrial hose rail you're gonna be it's a pain in the butt trying to uh -huh. rip them up uh this is about 200 feet of hose it's connected in the middle there just gardener hose mm, i sponge. like that that the wind yeah yeah so literally what i do is i'll i have my uh pole in here mm -hmm. and then basically i'll just walk away mm -hmm. unwind it on the customer's property yeah till it's all done and then i'll bring the other end back plug it in take everything off of here when i'm done i can just wheel it back in it's out yeah works really good show me the mormon accelerator i want to get one yeah i mean i don't know Unless you're like an owner operator and you're super, super into how to squeegee windows, like you're gonna have a heck of a time with this because it's a very difficult tool to learn, but it does have pretty good results if you can figure it out. But it probably took me a couple months just to figure out how to use it correctly. That's just. Well, I watch you use it on a big eyelid window above a front door. Yeah, was... yeah. It does have its its purposes, but I would never hand this to my brother and be like, here, man, because it's just gonna not do great. All right, what's up with um, this? This is dirty towels wet towels so i'll toss them in here like again because i don't want wet stuff getting all over the place extra t-bar why well, you got blue and yellow so that's a great question actually so the blue are specifically for detailing the glass these yellow ones are for wiping i call them slap towels They're for wiping your ass <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> exactly. you could but uh yeah create a house but for basically all the drips and stuff that you get on the on the frames, so if you you miss anything, you know this is for the the frame just to wipe up any any drips. Mm. Not for track cleaning because mm -hmm. I stopped doing track cleaning, so <laughs> Keith knows all about that. But this is yeah, basically for cleaning up your mess on the outside or the inside, any drips. This doesn't touch glass though. Hit. Did it stop raining? Because I'm gonna get out of here. I'm like literally in this van. A little bit. I wasn't trying to get my camera all wet. All right. Dude, I think I'm gonna get a van. Yeah, man. Because leading, loading stuff in and out of a truck, sometimes you forget stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's go to the actual water-fed pole, and then we'll go to the way you um, yeah. put the water in the. Yep. So this is uh, Mark Mike Warway at uh, Detroit Sponge actually helped me pick this one. I knew I was probably gonna go with the Gardner just because they're a little bit, uh, they're not as pricey, but they're still great poles. I think this is a mixture uh, carbon fiber hybrid. I don't really know. I know it's light and it's stiff. Uh, 27 feet. It's got like five different sections. Here, in talk it. a little louder. It's got like five different sections. Put in it up in the air. <laughs> Come on, man. We need a full demonstration. Right. So we'll put it all the way out. So they're about five foot sections. Louder. Five foot sections in this water fed pole. Yes. It just goes and goes. Put, that, put it all the way up in the air, bro. He's doing it. Oh, Shiznowski. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's worth it, it's worth it. It's worth it, because he's gonna put it all the way up in there. This is crazy. There you go. All right. Here it goes. Yeah. So, I, I have used it this big before, but yeah. maybe one time, but you're never gonna need anything more than this, honestly. No? So you can hit a three-story window? Yeah, I can hit three stories are like exactly where I'm at. I can do three stories comfortably with this one. Yeah? Yeah, 27 feet. You might feel how heavy it is. Here. Yeah, go for it. Me. It's got some wobble there. You got it? There oh, go. dude, this is so light. Yeah, it's not bad. Look at that. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Do you call it a gardener or a gardener? Uh, I, I always thought it was a guard, gardener. But gardener? I, I, Everybody in the comments, hey, should gardener. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let us know. I don't know. And I really, I really like these clamps, how they, yeah, they have like a nice feel and they don't. This is a game changer. Doing the, with, if you find like with the regular traditional poles, you gotta screw them and tighten them. Yeah. Having something like this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Doubt. Yeah. And then it's just a standard nylon brush, or is it like a hybrid brush? Yeah, this is a nylon brush. I just got whatever, you know, the basic is, and I mean, it works works great. Dude, the meetup we did at Detroit Sponge uh, over the winter, I lost all my footage because my microphone was broken on my camera. I saw that. So yeah. uh, I got no audio from it, but yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, some nylon brush there. You got, uh, you know, just the angle at it if you want to. Oh, yeah, Depending yeah. on the sills, if they're deep sills. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is good. I've had this for yeah. about, so this is what it'll look like after one season. It's yeah. pretty, I mean, I, I use it pretty intensely, but. Yeah. 
<laughs> it looks good still. I think he borrowed my water fed pole for some huge house or something. And then he literally the next day he went and just bought one. Yeah, I did. it was like that day, yeah, because I think the DI went on it. it. Just happened to go when I had Oh, it. I'm sorry. No, no. It was, I, I should have just bought one. All right, I'm going back in the van. He's going to show us the solution bottles. There you go. Good job. Austin, custodial custodian on YouTube, Austin. Uh, Got me getting the using a Gatorade bottle to put all the solution in. But I see you're using these. Are these those like Myers? Miss like Myers, yeah. Miss so, Myers organic soap. Yeah. So you, you can get like it. Yeah. So you can use um, Gatorade bottles. They work good. Yeah, but they look a little more professional. They close. They open and close. Yeah. Um, they hold the perfect amount. I can do a house with this bottle. Legit. Um, yeah. I mean, I love it. I've got a bunch in here. I really don't need that much, but. How are you actually making solution? I see you got some Dawn. What else? Yeah, yeah. So I, what I'll do is I'll have, that's my water bucket right here. Your water bucket? Yeah, so I'll put water in there, and yeah. then I'll, uh, I don't know if there's water in there right now, but I'll basically fill up the bottle in there, and then put some soap in it. Yeah, there's a little, there's, there's fish in there. <laughs> it's like... A couple bass, I just keep them in there. <laughs> okay, okay. And then, uh, yeah, I just put, um, you know, a couple drops of soap in there, and you're, you're good to go with the house. That's all? That's it, yeah. But what about what about the Kelfis crazy mixture of the vinegar, the dawn, the, <laughs> let's put some peroxide in that some mug, peroxide. some lemon juice. I remember a that little, video. A little prayer over it. Yeah. Dude, I was obsessed with trying to make my own solution, and I found all these things online, and then I got it whittled it down to just dawn dish soap with some vinegar, and now it's just dawn dish soap. <laughs> I, I watched that video, too, when I started. Uh, cleaning I was like man this is that there's something about that video I don't know if it's just the thumbnail you see all like this bin with all this window cleaning stuff in it and you just instantly like want to click on it I, I, still, <laughs> I still go back and watch it every once in a while just for kicks so it's like yeah it's classic like this guy's got some it's classic okay back there. all right Yep, so steel wool. I just ordered some more of this just now. It yeah. should be showing up at my office. It'll rust on you, but it uh, works amazing. As soon as it rusts, you just get rid of it. Right? Yeah, chuck it. Chuck it yeah. once it rusts. Um, booties, Troy Sponge. Oh, uh, yeah, dude, the Magic Eraser or whatever. Yeah, I keep those. Um, this is dope. I use, I use them mostly for the inside of the car, actually. It, I mean, you can use them on fingerprints, anything. But um, these, believe it or not, the only thing that I'm really proud of buying from Harbor Freight yeah. No, you can get a lot of good stuff from Harbor Freight, but like, yeah. Never have I found gloves this good uh -huh. from like from anywhere. Just like they're super thick. Like, why? Why would you even use those? I use them in the winter time because sometimes because you got to keep your hands from getting wet. Do you put like warm gloves over them? No, it depends on the day. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll just use uh, 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. like winter gloves. But if it's good enough where I can just get away with not uh -huh. having wet hands, what do I use? Perfect. A little step stool right here. Step stool, Stay cool. Up. And then you got the ladder up top. Yeah, now, ladder why are you using? Uh, what's up with this one? That is the uh, Mormon bucket on a belt there. Okay, I like this belt. It's nice and thick. It's better than the one I use. I want to see exactly what you're working with. Yeah. Where do you put everything? I'll put your you. belt on right now. Yeah, Let's we'll see. Put the belt. Put the belt. Oh, we're going back out now. This is a thorough video. Yeah. There you go. So, the way that I have it. Yeah. I have this on my left side, which is, I'm right-handed, so yeah. it was kind of weird, but the reason I do it is because I can grab the scrubber with my left hand, yeah. and I can grab the squeegee with my right hand, because I'm always using two at the same time to catch the drips when yeah. you're in a house, and commercial mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Put it back in. Yeah. This side, you know. Th throw a squeegee my... on there, I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, let's do a demonstration. He thought it was going to be like two, three minutes. No, it's not good. So this is what I use for residential, 14-inch brass squeegee. Amazing. Why is it amazing? It's the perfect length. 14 is like absolutely perfect. You won't need anything bigger. Right, here, you got some on your eyelid a little. Oh, yeah. All right, it's gone. <laughs> so this side, uh, so say I finished up squeegeeing, right? Yeah. I can put this in here. Do a little window squeegee. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, you like that? And then I can come yeah. here on my right side. Yeah. You can detail it up uh -huh. like that. And then on my back, I'll always have my slop towels. Slop towels? Yeah, so like what I was talking about earlier. With yeah, the dude, I have a slop towel thing too. Like, Yeah, yeah, you keep it on the back right here. Yeah, you right there. You pull it out. And <laughs> that, what that's nice for is you can reach it from any side. So if you're yeah. in behind a couch, you know, and you can only, you know, this hand is right here holding a lamp or something, you can come around this way. Yeah. You can wipe it up and you're good to go. Yeah. I also keep my steel wool back here. Uh -huh. That's something you might want to have on either side, depending on where you're at. Yeah, bro. And then, uh, Unger razor. I don't use this too often on houses, but I leave it on there just for the yeah. couple times I might. You should have like a 45 pistol on the side too. <laughs> a little Glock. <laughs> With yeah. some grenades and shit. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And, and like the whole thing. Like, yeah. yeah. 
bulletproof. Vest. Show up with a big ass knife. And, yeah. Anyway, so this guy's nuts. <laughs> I got this on here. I, I used to have um, a little six inch that I wiped sills with for commercial, but dude, I actually had that in one of my first yeah. window cleaning belts, and I um I threw it in the garbage because a couple times I. No, that was the problem. I had it on the side and it rubbed, it tapped up against. Yeah. Anyways. It works really good. I just lost my six inch squeegee, so I don't know where it, <laughs> yeah. it's gone. So it's, it's I lost mine too. Useless. I've lost it twice. That's the second one I bought too. That's yeah. the crazy thing about it. So that's the belt setup. Hey, how do you deal with this uh, thing flopping around? Like when you're when you're working right. and the thing like tip, tip and water, how do you keep the gravity? Sure. So that's one thing that's been bugging me, you know? I think you use the pole X. Yeah. Which is, uh, which is uh, doesn't handle it as good. So, the, actually, this is this is a Mormon. So what that means is that mm -hmm. the uh, take this off real quick. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. This is actually quick detach. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting real that. quick. So the the idea behind this is that it's not supposed to be able to move. This yeah. is actually worn down a bit, so it does move. But when yeah. I first bought this, yeah. you could not move this like this at all. It doesn't oh. matter which way you went. I mean, this thing would be like that. Yeah. So it's it's kind of worn down because mm -hmm. I've, I've had this probably two years now. Okay. But I mean, it still works cool. really good. It sits really high. You know what I mean? So it just depends on the bucket you get. It depends on the squeegees that you have. Mm -hmm. If you have something like this, mm -hmm. um, you're going to be fine. But if you got a 24 inch, it's going to start moving on you. All right, enough of all that stuff. Get out to the extension pole. Enough, enough of the tools. Right. Yeah. You did, you're doing a great job, by the yeah, way. Buddy. So we got quite a few. Uh, let's go around to this side to look at the yep, extension pole. Going around to this side. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Keep this right here. I'm just gonna keep this video unedited. Yeah, why not? I don't edit my videos. Here's a. Oh. Now I, I only use this if I'm maybe only gonna need it for one or two windows in a house. I yeah. rarely ever use it, but I love it when I do use it. Uh, this is my 12 foot. This is what I use for storefronts. Pretty much every storefront I do is with this yeah. one. Um, just basic. Get it at Lowe's. I don't remember which one sells which, but. Hey, the first ones I ever got when I started was the cheapest, cheapest ones for 10 bucks. Yeah. They weren't even those. Like, they were still at Home Depot. Yeah. But after like a month, they'd get all rusted and the paint would fall off. Yeah. Basically, I know what you're talking about. I'd go into customers' houses with those and I'd be all like nervous because I didn't have any money. I, no, I understand. And then all the rest of them are basically just different sizes. What says, oh, he's got the drop cloth. Yes. Yeah, do you guys do like ceiling fan or chandelier cleaning? <laughs> I did a chandelier cleaning the other day. And I'm, I don't love it. But you can get me. You can make good money on them. Um, yeah. So that's basically for you know anybody walking in. You can put it under your ladder if you need to on an A-frame, um, or you can put it under the windows so that you don't drip on a hardwood floor carpet. Dope. Man, and what's this van? Is this a Sprinter? This is a 2010 Transit. Connect. Oh, the Transit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I know that your other van got smashed, man. That <laughs> yeah, sucks. Yeah. Somebody uh, pulled out in front of me. I don't know what happened with that. But yeah. Dude, Ford this Transit is. Connect. A dope fan. Yep, works perfect. I like it. And then, it's uh, perfect. Yeah, so this is the side that I get out on. So I'll have everything right here pretty much. Yeah? Bucket. And I can reach everything from here. Another person. What do you use the bucket for? Uh, exterior. Exterior. I'll put, uh, yep, there's another liquidator right there. I don't feel I'm in the mood for it. In the, oh, yeah, yeah. A bunch of oh. and clips and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Yep. Ledger in there. Wow, bro. Look at this. Absolutely. Wow. What is dish? Something oh, yeah. you probably never use. Chandelier. Okay. Oh. Oops, I'm so sorry, bro. No, it's fine. Tons of crap in there. No, so. no, no. I accidentally knocked your oh, thing over, dude. Oh, one of these things? It doesn't matter. Yeah, a couple of them fell down in there. They're like, I'm sorry, man. It's like two bucks. That whole time. Okay. I'm just looking at how yeah. how you organize stuff. This uh, this is not organized at all. I need to figure out something better for this. Yeah? Yeah, honestly. Well, I'm sure there's people that'll learn stuff from this video. And let us know in the comments below uh, how you organize stuff. and put links to your videos and then we'll figure out a good system yeah. but i like it i like how you get this this blanket down yeah, here and absolutely. everything i've got a video about um a bucket organizer i made to organize squeegees i don't know if you saw that where you can put like a whole bunch of different squeegees in it and it holds it up it's pretty really? sweet it's called the ultimate uh squeegee organizer it's on the, my channel the ultimate squeegee organizer yeah. i'll put a link in the description below all right. <laughs> it works great but i don't i don't use it because i uh trying to simplify so but it'll hold all your squeegees sweet all right we're going back into the office to talk some business and he's actually got to teach me some stuff that I'm trying to get down with this uh, this app. But uh, I'll, 
This is Anthony Heyman, Heyman's Window Cleaning. Thanks so much, dude. Buddy. I like this guy, this guy's cool. And, um, yeah, hit the thumbs up and check the links in the description below for his stuff. Later. Is that good Panera bread? It's so good.